Hey, uh, Shane from Liberty Under Attack Radio here. This is going to be a pretty quick video, as I'm not going to devote hardly any time at all to this Sideshow Circus uh, that's happening today, that I'm sure all of you are very well aware of. Uh, that, and I already canceled my voter registration, so this is honestly completely irrelevant to me. I have no stake in it whatsoever, and that was my choice, and I'm very happy with my, with my decision. That said, there are a couple of crucial things that I think need to be pointed out. Uh, first off, on uh, on October twenty third, uh, on uh, on that uh, on that broadcast of LUA Radio, uh, we were joined by Kyle Reardon, uh, Kyle Reardon from the Alaska Steel blog, to uh, uh, to discuss the, the, this subject. Uh, essentially, it was titled "Oh, you think your vote matters in the presidential election? That's cute." Uh, so, I guess just a brief synopsis about of, of, of I guess the conclusions we came to. Uh, the most important one being, unless you're an elector of one of the several states, your vote in the presidential election is completely irrelevant. The president is not popularly elected. He is elected. Uh, the president and the vice president are elected b uh, by way of the electoral college by the, by the electors. Uh, so just the uh, uh, just average Joe going into the uh, the polling booth or the slave suggestion box and uh, casting his ballot for uh, for your Trump or uh, uh, or uh, Hillary Clinton completely irrelevant. Doesn't make a difference whatsoever because the president and the vice president are not elected by the popular vote. It's an indirect election uh, versus a direct election, such as like the election of uh, of, uh, of Congress. Uh, they are directly uh, you. If you go cast a ballot for a uh, congressman or something, your vote goes directly towards them, and it's tallied up, and it's a popular popular vote. But that's not how uh, presidential and vice presidential uh, elections are ran. <clears throat> So this kind of brings in another thing that we we hammered on we hammered on uh, really hard in that broadcast, and that's just the the open and blatant deception being propagated by the government, uh, mainstream media, public schools, etc. I mean, we we always hear. Uh, I mean, I always heard. Uh, not the, no 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 collective stuff here, uh, but I know uh, throughout school, uh, whether it was uh, um, whether it was public schooling uh, or higher level indoctrination, the importance of presidential and vice presidential elections cannot be understated. I mean, that's the uh, uh, all of the uh, pro voting campaigns. Like uh, uh, I know on the Illinois State University campus, they have. Well, it was probably once or twice a week uh, within a month leading up to the uh, general election. Oh, they have, you could you could register to vote right there. Uh, so it's very very highly propagated uh, within uh, all of those uh, all of those various institutions. And uh, uh, and mainstream media is also participating in this. Uh, uh, they they have a uh, uh, I guess a very a vested interest. It's uh, great for uh, advertising and things. Uh, for for elections uh, and things of that nature, so it's definitely widespread propaganda in regards to elections. The the election that you have the least, actually, unless you're an elector, you have no direct uh, control over who is who becomes elected as president, and vice president. But that's the one that they want you to focus on. When I mean going and voting for a congressman or something, uh, your vote goes directly towards that. Now I am a, a, a I am a voluntarist and an anarcho capitalist, so I see that as inconsistent for me philosophically. But that's uh, that's uh, we've already we've already discussed that on Liberty Under Attack Radio. So let's take a look at uh, some of the current numbers here uh, on this chart. Uh, they do actually split up between electoral vote and the popular vote. Uh, but I guess something that uh, could be uh, that that could be I guess misleading is the fact that they still put the popular votes underneath it, uh, as if that has something to do with uh, uh, with whether or not uh, um, whichever candidate is going to get the uh, the electoral votes. Which yeah, that's that's uh, that's definitely not true. Uh, constitutionally, it's not. Uh, as per Article Two, Section One of the uh, 1787 Federal Constitution. And also the Twelfth Amendment, which just, uh, I guess, uh, I guess rewrote the process, but it's still the same. It's, it's still essentially the same. It's still the electoral college system that the founders uh, put into the Constitution. Now, obviously, the electors could vote along the lines of the popular vote, popular vote, uh, and often do, but that would just be their individual decision. Uh, it's not anything uh, uh, legal or illegal or anything of that nature. And uh, and this one, this one as well. I uh, figured I'd go ahead and show you this one. But yeah, this is uh, from CBS News, and they just show electoral votes. And then they don't even mention uh, they don't even mention the electors or anything, uh, the, the votes of the electors. They uh, Pretty much on every website I've looked at, they only show the popular votes, which is wrong in so many ways, uh, as, as, as you, could, you could probably gather. Uh, and especially so if you listen to the, uh, of the, to the uh, October 23rd broadcast of Liberty Under Attack Radio. And uh, now is where things get interesting. So, 
I've been spreading this around so much on Fascist Book in the past couple of weeks uh, leading up to the to this general election. And uh, I'd like to read, this is uh, uh, Texas Election Code 192.006, it's titled Meeting of Electors. Uh, uh, section A, the electors shall convene at the state cap capital at 2 p.m. on the first Monday, after the second Wednesday in December, following their election and shall perform their duties as prescribed by federal law. Uh, B, the Secretary of State shall arrange for the meeting place, notify the electors, and call the meeting to order. The Secretary shall act as temporary chair of the meeting until the electors elect a chair from among themselves. See if, and that's kind of irrelevant, the most important part is A, the electors shall convene at the state capitol at 2 p.m. on the first Monday after the second Wednesday in December following their election and shall perform their duties as prescribed by federal law. So let's look at the first Monday after the second Wednesday in December. And you know when that is this year? That's December 19th. That is December 19th. So uh, the general election is today, November 8th. And the electors for Texas aren't even going to cast their votes for the president's, president, uh, president's, uh, the president and the vice president until December 19th. So over a month. Over a month. So technically, I guess if you want to look at it this way, no president or vice president can, uh, can be decided until the Texas electors vote. Uh, that is, unless it's such a blowout uh, where their 38 electoral votes don't matter. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see, but I highly doubt uh, that will be the case as Texas is one of the most populated states. I think it's got like a top five, like they're like three or four uh, in the United States as far as the number of, 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 uh, of electoral votes. Uh, so that's, it's kind of a necessary state uh, in regards to determining the president and uh, the vice president. And if they are meeting tonight, they are breaking their own fucking laws either way you look at it. So it's bad. It's bad either way. Uh, so yeah, when you, when you uh, hear the results tonight, uh, maybe it'll be tomorrow morning, I'm not sure. Uh, but when you hear the results tonight of who's going to be the next uh, supreme ruler of America, just know that they are fucking with you. They really are. They really are. And they're going to go off the uh, popular vote. That's what they show uh, on, all of those, uh, on all of those polls. They show the, the number of popular votes when that is actually not how the president and the vice president are elected. So uh, for more information, uh, definitely check out our uh, October 23rd broadcast of LUA Radio. Just go to uh, libertyunderattack.com forward slash voting is irrelevant. Uh, you can find that there. And then there's also a really good uh, video on the YouTube channel, uh, American Political System Explained in 10 Minutes. And uh, I'll put all of those uh, links in the description. Uh, but uh, the, no, the October 23rd broadcast goes through things in, uh, in very, uh, in very uh, thorough detail. Uh, so I definitely recommend that. But if you only have 10 minutes, uh, go check out the American Political System Explained in 10 Minutes. Uh, definitely a, kind of a, a, short, a, short, a shorter synopsis of uh, the political system versus what we did on the, uh, on the 23rd. So if you're going to be following this closely, may Doge have mercy on your soul. I hope you have plenty of alcohol handy, because uh, you're, you're going to need it. Politics has never set the slave free. It's time for direct action. Make sure, make sure to check out the links below, such as uh, the Freedom Umbrella of Direct Action and the Direct Action series, which I'll link in there. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have for you. Right, cheers. Cheers.